Hey there, welcome to Allison's Amazing Crazy Kitchen. And tonight I just wanted to show you how super fast uh, dinner can be. I've got uh, four chicken breasts, a um, little bit of uh, mayonnaise, some um, uh, herbs of providence, and a little bit of our uh, oh, barbecue seasoning. So I'm just going to stick it in the air fryer. And I will have to switch them halfway through so that they both um, get the same amount of airflow and cooking time. And with the mayonnaise, as you can see, to avoid the mess, I used one of our mats and the, oh, the flip the tongs from our coating set um, yeah so I'm just going to stick these in oh hit the right hole Allison all right so I'm just going to make sure the door shut tight uh, I've got mayonnaise on my hands so I'm going to use um, let's go with the bake setting and we'll try 15 minutes and uh, see it from there. What I'll get is a um, a warning bell, if you will, at uh, seven minutes, eight minutes, um, to let me know that it's halfway. And that way I can uh, switch the rack from the top down to the bottom. Anyhow, I just wanted to show you how quick and easy something can be. And I'll, uh, I'll have my techie daughter try and put the end results on for us. Cheers. All right, it's beeping at me to rotate because we're halfway through. So, grab the hot mat take that one out put this one on the bottom and then put this one back in close her up and we're back to the races. All right, it's beeped at me that it's ended. And now I'm going to open it up and flip our chicken. Oh, it smells so good. Ah, where did I put those? slippers should be able to do it like that give them a little shake get them off the oh look at that give them a little just like on the barbecue make them oh yeah I hate it when I do that all right so There, and I would like to put this one back in on top, and then we'll flip this one. Give it a little hustle, 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 hustle. Oh, there we go. Flip, flip, flip. Do 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 do. I should make a little music and make them dance all right there we go i'm just giving them a little bit of a movement so that um if they were stuck to the uh, grate they wouldn't be ready to flip yet so i'm going to put this one back in oh 
Ugh, there we go. Oh, it smells so good. And we'll put it back on bake. And we'll give it another 15 minutes so that it'll alert me halfway through to flip the trays back and forth. Now, if I was only doing one tray, I wouldn't have to go to the trouble of flipping them back and forth. Um, I just want my chicken to cook uh, evenly. So we're gonna make sure that uh, everything is cooked properly with chicken. And while that's on the go, I've put together some rice. This is our old, old micro cooker. Um, many of you remember that I started Pampered Chef over 20 years ago. So this product, this one isn't 20 years because it's changed color. This one's the black one, but I used these so often I had to buy a second one. My brown one is 20 years old and still on the go. Um, but uh, yeah, this is the old style. The new style is very, very much the same um, that I use when I go to shows, but I'm not about to buy myself a new one for my kitchen because this one is uh, still good, as are the, is the brown one, and the little, littler ones that uh, look like a little pot. I still have those on the go too. So I'm gonna throw my rice in the microwave. Um, after I do the next flip, I won't uh, bore you with the next flip, but I'll show you when we're finished. All right, so I've pulled out the first piece. I've uh, cut into it a little bit just to make sure we're cooked. Libby didn't want it dry and we're looking good. So we've got our chicken, our rice, and a salad. So this is our chicken half an hour in the air fryer on the bake setting, which was 350 degrees. And of course, our rice, steaming hot. And Libby's got a salad already on the table. And I'm going to enjoy our teriyaki sauce with honey on my rice and on my chicken. Libby likes everything plain, so I couldn't uh, actually cook with it. But enough leftovers for when Jacob gets his wet, soggy ass off the golf course because he got caught in a rainstorm. And uh, leftovers for tomorrow, or I can ground it down with all of our amazing tools. There's three or four that we can use to uh, make chicken salad sandwiches. Thanks for coming out to Allison's amazing, crazy kitchen. Have a good night. Cheers.